Did you know that every form you create with JotForm is mobile friendly? Well, let me show you how. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and as you can see, I'm in the responsive forms or mobile forms features landing page at JotForm.com. Now, if you didn't know, every single form that you create with JotForm is mobile friendly, mobile responsive, and there's nothing that you have to do in order to make that possible. And what makes it even better with the free app, you can edit on the go. So let's go ahead and jump over into my dashboard. Let's take a look at the form that we're going to be working with today. I'm going to go ahead and use my very first one, the catalog request. We're going to edit our form. And as you can see, we have some basic form elements. We have first and last name, email, same address, which is a drop down option with yes and no being the options. And then we have annotate image. Now this is going to be over on the left hand side. If I choose form element, it's one of our widgets and it's called annotate picture right here. Now what I'm wanting to use this form for, for this example is let's say for example, someone who is looking at homes or maybe out on the construction site and they're needed to take a picture of something and edit that picture or draw a circle. So that way people know exactly what they're looking at to give more information about that picture. So now that we have an idea of what the form looks like, let's go ahead and jump over to mobile. All right, so as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and click that very top one for our catalog request. And we have lots of different options from our free mobile app. So the very first one, of course, is we can see the submissions right here on mobile. So if I click on submissions, I can see Sharice right here and I can see all of her information. And then of course, I have the same options as I do on the desktop. So I can click those three dots in the top. I can download as a PDF. I can print, I can star archive. I can view settings. I can trash. I can even click that little arrow and send it to someone else. If need be, I can also click the next one and I can edit their submission as well from the mobile version. And we can go ahead and discard that. And I can also click that little person with the plus and I can create a new contact from their information. If I X out of this, we can head on back and then back one more. So let's click on our form one more time. So from here we can see, we can fill out, we can edit, we can even assign this form from mobile. So if I click on assign form, we can either do that from copying the link and sending it through the appropriate channel, or we can invite by email as well. Now, next up is kiosk mode. And this is really great if you are out and about and you do not want someone to navigate away from this form. So let's say like at a vendor show, or maybe you are selling something and you're wanting to collect information at some type of a, an event or fair, we can put this in kiosk mode. So we can see that we have kiosk lock. So yes, we want to set a password, go ahead and do one, two, three, four. We'll set that password so that way no one can take it out of kiosk mode except for us. We have that touchless mode, we can turn this on. So that way if someone doesn't want to touch our device, if they just wanna do it, maybe as they're walking away, we can do that as well. We can turn on the inactivity timeout. We have that thank you page display. We can change that time from five seconds to two seconds. Five seconds, in my opinion, is probably one of the best, and that's why it's set on there, and you'll see why in just a second. And then we have the visible exit kiosk button. I wanna leave that off, and the way that we can access that exit button is we just swipe down with two fingers. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Let's launch our kiosk mode. And so it's telling us, reminding us, here is how to get out of that kiosk mode. We're just gonna swipe down with two fingers. And so we see it is now gone. We have that touchless form right at the top. We have our form information here. So let's go ahead and fill this out. And then right down here for annotate image, there's a little camera with a plus sign. If we click on that, we can choose to go to our photo library and choose a photo. And so we have our photo chosen, we can choose done. And then from here, we can draw on this picture. So let's say I am interested in editing or changing this section of the driveway. We can clear it. And let's say, you know what, let's make it a little bit bigger so you can draw on the picture. Now, the great thing about the mobile version is we can see that five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. So let's go ahead and do two finger swipe down, exit kiosk mode. We're going to put in our pen, continue. Now, if we head back one last thing right down here at the bottom, you can see it says offline mode. You always want to have that on, especially if you're not going to be around Wi-Fi or if you have spotty Wi-Fi. So again, if you're a construction worker or you're out in the field, you might not have access to internet. So having it off 
you can still submit your forms, you can still collect all of that data needed, and then once you get back to Wi-Fi or internet coverage, your submissions will automatically be loaded. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize JotForm in the mobile version, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.